Danner has been making boots in Portland, Oregon since 1932. And they introduced the world to the stitch down construction method of boot making. Today, they're still making boots in Portland. And one of those boots is the Pine Grove Chukka. The Pine Grove seems to be kind of a jack of all trades, but maybe master of nothing. Is it right for you? Let's find out. Welcome to Stray Reviews. I'm Lee, and I'm here to help you find the best men's lifestyle gear and apparel. And today, I'm reviewing the Danner Pine Grove Chukka boot in roasted pecan or pecan depending on where you're from. These boots have a rugged full grain leather upper that has a strong new buck quality to it and it displays those scrapes and scratches of life as they encounter them. They have a soft leather lining and a removable ortho light footbed. These come with a Danner non-marking slip resistant synthetic wedge sole that feels a lot like a PU or a TPU material. And they have a steel shank too, which is not terribly common for wedge soled shoes. These boots can be resold by Danner, should the sole ever give out on you. However, I'm not really sure about the method of construction. Since there's no welt or external stitching, my guess would be combination Blake stitch and cement construction. And I'm pretty sure that these can only be recrafted by the team at Danner. These are made in the USA in Portland, Oregon, and they sell for $240. If you wanna take a closer look, I'll leave a link down in the description below. All right, let's start off with the good of the Danner Pine Grove Chukka. I'm gonna have to be honest, I really wasn't sure about these boots at first. But then, over a couple of wears, they really grew on me. Initially, I felt like they were kind of too construction worker looking for me to wear as like a casual daily driver. That thick wedge sole and the wider, kind of slightly bulbous toe, it just reminded me of dedicated work boots and not casual boots inspired by work boots. But after a few wears and a couple different outfit pairings, I really started to like them. And now I feel like I can wear them to just about any casual occasion. These boots also come with two extra sets of laces. One is a round work boot type of lace. And the other is this very cool reddish brown flat casual lace that I am definitely going to be putting on these boots in the very near future. Also in the good column, these boots are really comfortable. And I hate to use the term sneaker-like comfort, but they do come pretty darn close. And even though the footbed is thinner than other removable footbeds that I've seen, it does provide a surprising amount of comfort. I can have the pine groves on all day without any pinching or hot spots. And these really are one of the most comfortable pairs of boots I own. And they are definitely the most comfortable chuckas that I own. However, I did have to go up a half size to get that comfort. The Huckberry website says to take your usual size, and for me, that's a 10. I'm a 10 on the Brannock. But when I did that, I felt like my foot was just stuffed in there. And when I went up a half size, they were like completely different shoes. And I just love the way that they feel now. Hey, if you're a fan of when rugged meets comfort, then tap that like button for me. So what about the bad of the Danner Pine Grove Chukka boot? Like I mentioned before, the sizing can be tricky. In my case, taking my Brannock size of 10 resulted in a pretty uncomfortable fit. You might want to order your normal size and a half size up for comparison, but that means that you've got to make a special trip to return one of those pairs. 
Also, it does bother me a little that there's no information about how they're constructed. Just that they're recraftable. I don't know if Danner is like trying to build up a revenue stream here or if they're just trying to keep their construction methods proprietary. Either way, the inventors of Stitch Down can do better. Lastly, I feel like $240 is a bit steep. Not that I wouldn't pay that, just that I would pay it and then complain about how much I paid for it. I think 200 or maybe 210 would be a more fair price, but I get that being made in America is going to make them more expensive. You tell me, should made in the United States automatically demand a higher price tag? And at what point are we just paying a premium because of where they're made? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, I'm going to give you my bottom line opinion, but if you're getting some value out of this today, then I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you'll catch my upcoming reviews. Okay, the bottom line is that the Danner Pine Grove Chukka may not stand out as like the most stylish men's chukka boot in my closet, but they still make an excellent daily driver that does a lot of things well, including being incredibly comfortable all day long. And they're rugged enough that I wouldn't feel shy about doing a little work in them. As long as I can keep myself from freaking out about doing manual labor in a boot that cost me $240. And if you want to see these chukkas compared to three other chukka boots, then check out this video here. I want to thank Huckberry for providing these boots for review. My opinions are my own. And I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you over in the next video.